Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Smith 22. We're going to finish the harvest today. We have just two very, very small fields to do and then we can get onto the baling, clear all these fields and um, yeah, go from there. I'm actually not going to do bales in the two smallest fields. The reason why, there's two reasons why actually. One is they're further away, so we're going to have to cart them. But most importantly, I do have the chopped straw for harvesters mod installed. So if we chop the straw, we should actually be able to apply a free layer of fertilizer. So the the straw will be essentially turned into fertilizer. Uh, I think it's is it potash? I think it's I think straw. If you chop straw, it just put potash into the soil. But don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. I just know it does put some goodness back in. I've just discovered we're going to have to do fill number one first, which is fine because fill number 34 is not ready until tomorrow. Uh, yeah, it's five o'clock now anyway, so we'll do the oat field and then we can come back to 34 in the morning. Now there's two fields which I really feel we should buy before the end of the series. We'd have to buy both of them, but certainly one of them. I know which one I prefer and it is obviously the most expensive one. In fact, it's so expensive we can't even afford it and we have quite a lot of money. The reason why is because most of it isn't field. A lot of it is just the surrounding scenery, the hills and the trees. It is fill number 48. Um, yeah, you can see it, it even incorporates the train line, but that is £792,000. I would love to spread out down here. It would really just complete our complex. The other one which we could go for is 44, I suppose 43 as well, but yeah, I don't really like the shape of it too much. Um, it would be a bit of a nightmare. So I think, yeah, if we can aim to get the super expensive 48, then that would be quite fun. It is unfortunate that we do have to buy all of the surrounding land because it does just push the price up massively. Right, well this should be fairly short lived. Not a very big field, but these oats are going to go towards the cereal factory. Alright, is that chopping? It's not, is it? Make sure it's chopping. We should see a difference on the fertilizer map. Let's just take a look. Yes. For a second I thought, wait, it's completely removing it. It is doing, but then it's putting one application back again. Because uh, that is a bit just behind. I have achieved large scale supplier. Nice. Yeah. Because I stopped it made it a bit patchy there. But not to worry. It's continuing on. Overall it should be good, providing I don't miss bits. Come on. <laughs> Let's do this properly. Um, yeah, that's good. I, I think it's worth it. Instead of bringing the baler all the way up here, burning that diesel, it's worth just putting some goodness back into the ground. Because really, we don't need any more bales anyway. We're going to have loads. And it does take a surprisingly long time to bring all the machinery up here just to create three or four bales and then take it all back again. After you've used all that diesel, it probably isn't worth it. And this is saving a fair amount of fertilizer. Yep, looking good. Okay, so probably down and up again, and then we'll be done. I'll come back for those missed bits. Right, so then back again. It wasn't actually enough, amazingly, up and down. And we've already got almost half a combine. Much more than I was expecting. Just check that map again. Yeah, except for the odd bit. That is just as good as using a granular fertilizer spreader. Very OT. Very nice. So, uh... I think that's all the misbits done. We got 51% in the end, 8,342 litres. I couldn't be happier with it, that is just really good. So, we'll pop this back onto the trailer. Obviously I'm not bringing the uh, grain trailer over here. It's a total waste of money. We will have to keep the combine unfolded though, so I need to be careful on the trees, because we do have grain in the tank. 
Uh, yeah, that's spun round. That's. I should actually be able to pull that around by hand. There we go. That makes it much easier. It's moving again. Quickly, <laughs> I've grabbed it. Uh, right, so I'm going to go to probably the grain mill because that's where my trailer is. We'll unload it into the trailer there. And then we'll continue on to the new field. And then I'll take my lorry to the cereal factory. And then we'll rest. And then in the morning, we can harvest again. But yeah, the other field is just as small as that. If not smaller. I am not too sure who owns this. But it doesn't look like a piece of land that gets cut very often. So let's just go over here. And we'll pull alongside with this. I know it's not ideal, but it will work. Good. Okay, well, I'm going to do everything that I said, and I'll see you in the morning. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day. Oh no, we do have rain in the forecast. It's currently beautiful. Ah, oh, the rain isn't until 11, that's fine. So, I would have thought that field was going to be ready. There's no reason why it shouldn't be. Let's just quickly have a look down here. 34. Yep, that's ready. Brilliant. So we can get that done straight away. Animals, they should also be okay, I think. Obviously that one is. <laughs> yeah. I think it's time that we moved away from this one. We can go fully automated. We've got to get a second automatic feeding shed. Uh, what we could potentially do is move all the cows that we have currently into the automatic feeding one. And that saves selling them. And then we can sell the building, of course, and then build a new one. Um, or we could just sell them all and start fresh. They are 60 months old. I don't know if that really reduces their productivity. It doesn't seem to. I'm still getting an awful lot of milk out of them. But what I would quite like to do is get that hay barn back, the straw barn, uh, which we had in the first few episodes. We actually started off with it, but I sold it to free up some more space and also to get a bit of money in but now I reckon it might be nice to have it back because we can store loose straw and yeah it means we don't have to bail we can just use a huge loading wagon I think it might be something interesting something different but yeah we need to make the space first so that does need to have some attention that cow shed As for the new cow shed, which we'll be building, uh, it's probably going to go further up the field. But maybe I should really look at field 48 very seriously, because it could go over the road, or over the train line, because uh, it's not out of reach or anything, it's still really easy to get to. All we have to do is deliver all the ingredients, and the shed does it for us. Does all the feed mixing, which is nice. It's going to save a lot of time. So well, I think once this is done, we'll take this back to the farm, and we'll have a look at the uh, uh, field number 48. See if it's good for building on as well.
Wow, very good. 85%. Can we get 90%? This is what's nice about just having loads of small fields. Uh, they can surprise you, and it's just nice to keep getting little bits of what well, could be income or boost for the different productions. Right, so we're 86%. Very, very good. I could drop by the grain mill and deliver this myself straight from the auger, which would be very unusual. I'm sure not many factories have the combine coming to them. Um, we could certainly say that it's fresh. Or we could just take it back to the farm and then bring it in a bigger load. Could even use it for chicken food. I think I'm just going to put it in the grain silo for now. But when we need some more flour, we can deliver it to the grain mill. Okay, so we'll do that and then we'll check 48. Got much more space now as well to get to the pit just over here. Before we actually had to drive into the silage pit, which was hard work. There we go, straight in. So, that must be the combining done for this year. Everything else is sugar beet. Uh, where do I put my combine? I guess the shed down the bottom is the best place. We can't take the header though, we'll have to take that separately another time. I think I'm gonna spin round and put the header on the grass here and then we're gonna put the combine in the shed. Although we do have a bay just over there actually. Once that's folded up, yep, yeah, I can fold the combine up. Yeah, actually, I think last year I put this behind the shed, which seemed to work well. We do have a bit of space here, which is always overlooked. Need to make sure it's not in the way of the traffic. I'll kick up a fuss about it otherwise. Okay, and we'll put this into the shed. Good. Well, I think that saves quite a bit of space, and it means we're not blocking anything in the big shed. And I know you shouldn't leave headers outside. I'm fully aware of it. Um, but yeah, although yeah, I think I should probably say, sadly, we don't have that feature, where if you leave that outside, it's going to damage it. Okay. So, 48. We're teleports to the cereal factory. Uh, the official way of getting across it, I think, is over here. I'm just going to speed up a bit. Uh, that's, yeah, just here. So we go over the train line. It's actually really nice. And then that's the field itself. We actually own all of this, though. All of those hills just over there. Which, of course, is the reason why the price is being pushed up. But it's not a small field, and it looks like we also own... A building. Hello, building. It must be. Is it someone's house? Yeah, I think it is. So we'd actually be buying their house, or at least half of their house. The other half belongs to the river. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to buy half a house if we get this. And that grass down there must be included. It is all the way out there way back so yeah this could be the place where we put the other cow farm can level it I like it back here it's a place which I have very rarely visited in fact it's easy to forget that it's even here so I think for now the best thing to do is going to be to put these cows into the other shed there might be five too many from what I noticed um, it also might be worth getting them to eat the rest of the food. Yeah, reproduction's good. They're worth keeping. Actually, the other shed needs straw. But we can very easily transfer them with this trailer. 
and then probably when we get the new one built, which won't be today, it'll be a few episodes, um, we can then split them up again because then it gives space to breed in both of the enclosures. I've noticed this trailer is very, very hard to manoeuvre, unlike the other trailers. Oh, it's pro because it's t uh, double axle over triple. It's very long. Right, so yes, that's what I'm going to do. If, if there are five too many, we'll just sell the five, that doesn't matter. Um, but let's just get them to try and consume this food. Come on, cows, eat. Eat, eat, eat. <laughs> Ram it down. Now you take your time. I don't want you getting indigestion. It's 20 to 12, it's raining, and they only have 281 litres left. Of course, slurry. Um, I, I'm not too sure what happens. I don't know if... Cause it must be in there, and I don't know if it's sharing it with that one. No, I don't think it is. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if the slurry is going to be lost. I think the best thing to do is just to fill up the tanker anyway. Good job we've got the harvesting done. More eggs are appearing. Yes, yeah, so this might be just coming out of our slurry pit anyway, but at least by trying we are potentially saving it. Not all of it, because uh, yeah, there was 50,000 litres. Although having said that, I could just go and spread this on the big field. What's it done to our numbers? Yes, it looks like it has uh, saved it. So, again, not not guaranteed to have been lost because we do have the pit, but it's just guaranteeing that we don't lose it. So, if I go over here, we'll quickly apply it, and that'll be the one application done for today. The same applies for the milk, actually. I need to make sure we get the 5,000 litres of milk out. We can't be wasting that. Of course, that's the reason why we've been giving the cows the food. Right. Okay. I, I think we can usually get about one and a half passes done. So go all the way down. And then come back up again. Roughly halfway. Oh, oh, is it on double application? It always resets, doesn't it? Let me just align there. Blimey, I think I'm getting a bit fast. Okay, I think that first little speck. Huh. Interesting. Great. Does that mean it's been saving. Oh, what? So every time I've been pressing activate double application, I've actually been removing it. So does that mean that this tanker remembers the setting you're on? Because I've always been changing it from the default. Well, that's typical. <laughs> um, it, it's not a big problem, though, because we can just do the rest of it as double, and then I can just do a single granular fertilizer application on the rest of it. And that's interesting because I have always made a point of changing it. And with the other ones that I've been using, if I didn't do that, it would be a single application. Very, very interesting. that out of there. Not too much. There we go. And then finally, the milk. If I just put this back somewhere out of the way, should be okay. 
get that pumping. I think there is only five or six thousand litres. Yeah, five and a half. So that can just stay there. Well, over here. Just park it around the corner. Yeah, so the time has come for the cows to finally move house. They're not moving far. <laughs> They'll be very pleased to know. Uh, yes, you could, uh, you could almost jump from one enclosure to the other. You could say it's a quick hop. Okay, so we should be able to get all but five into the new uh, enclosure. We can only get 12 into the trailer at a time, but that's not a problem. Luckily, we're not going far at all. So, yep, yeah, that's it. Nice and simple. I think I've gone too far. All of those. And, yep, yeah, they've now officially moved house. Just make sure that's all registering on here, okay? Yep. Yeah. So, we'll probably sell these ones anyway at some point fairly soon, because they are older. But I think they've still got quite a bit of milk in them. It'd be a shame to uh, waste their productivity. So I'll just keep going with this, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, right, so we're left with, I think, about five. Anybody else in there? Yeah, I think it's five. Um, yeah, the four from this trailer went into there. So I think we've calved. There must have been a baby. There must be a baby calf somewhere, because uh, I'm sure we've got one extra than what we did have. So, yeah, sorry, cows, you're going to have to go to a new farm, but we'll find a nice temporary home for you. The livestock market. Of course, I know exactly where that is. Tag it anyway. Um, uh, yeah, we'll sell them over there. It, as we own the trailer, there's no point paying for transportation. I should be using my other lorry, my other tractor unit. Oh well, blows the cobwebs out of this one. This is it. Well, thank you for your excellent work, cows. You've been very good. Oh, there are five. Oh yeah, they said five, didn't it? So there we go, £3,200 for five of them. Good. Well, not good that they've gone, it's just good that the job is done. Uh, so, yeah, we should be able to eventually have 80 in each cow shed, hopefully. That's the plan. So we'll just finish off by selling the cow shed. Should be able to get quite a bit of money back. And then, yeah, from there, there's quite a bit of planning to do for the new one. Next time, I am hoping to get the hayloft so that we can pick up this straw and pop it into the hay hayloft, literally just there. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just dispense it and then put it into the straw storage area for the automatic feeding sheds. It's going to be brilliant. We actually don't really need bales anymore. Okay, I'm going to reverse this into here. But it might be the next thing out again, so I don't need to be too careful. As in, I don't need to park it very neatly. Not, I don't need to not crash into stuff. Yeah, just rampage my way through. But yeah, it's definitely much more difficult to reverse than the other trailers. There we go. So I think everything is out of that shed, except for straw, that doesn't matter. Um, I don't want to be wasting anything, I'm fairly sure I'm not going to be wasting anything. Yeah. So, oh, we, we've got a tractor in there. Probably best that we don't demolish it with a tractor in there. And in fact, this total mixed ration uh, it will not be wasted. It can go into the trough of the automatic shed because you can still feed them manually. We'll do that right away unless it's full. It is full. Okay, well, it can just stay here. So, to conclude, 
we need to go, well, just into here. Demolish. Oh, wow, 87,329. Very, very good. Well, we know what that money can go towards. We've got £705,000 now. Uh, that would have really opened up the yard. Indeed. And I would say it's opened it up for the better as well. This is going to be very welcome space. So, we'll, oh yeah, we've also got more space to get to these eggs. Because that wasn't very convenient. Um, yeah, so we'll put the hay barn somewhere on this footprint. Not too sure yet of the orientation, but somewhere here. We're just going to really give ourselves lots more space by doing this. So, we're going to leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.